for the present and a glitter that shines into the future. It's with pride and joy that we at CMS College Cotium welcome you all to the graduation ceremony 2022. This year's jubilation has the added joy that it comes to us after the still sad stagnation around the two years weighed down by the pandemic. Every individual and every achievement in CMS deserves to be celebrated. And hence, yesterday we celebrated the achievements of the graduation students of 2020 and 2021. And today, we have the graduates of 2022 with us, all decked up in gown and donning the cap. Congratulations, dear students. The academic procession is here. I request all the graduates, all those who are present in the hall to kindly remain standing. These are moments of prayer. The college choir will offer a melody of invocation, followed by the opening prayer led by Reverend Sherian Thomas, bursar of our college. I, I request all the audience to kindly remain standing until the prayer.
Thank you for the wonderful day that you have given in our lives. We thank you for bringing us over here for the convocation ceremony. Loving God, we thank you for all students who, who are graduating from this college. You have blessed them during the years in this college with wisdom. Continue to, to challenge them to make the world a better place. Oh Lord, we pray for this institution. We pray for our bishop, principal, our chief guest, Dr. Soma, all the teaching and non-teaching staff. Bless them, guide them. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Dr. Renu Jacob, Vice Principal of the College, a competent organizer and a dedicated individual in every role that she assumes. I call upon ma'am to welcome the gathering. Respected Bishop of CSI Madhikerala Diocese and Manager of CMS College, Right Reverend Malail Sabu Koshicharian, Chief Guest of the Day, Professor Soma Bendopathyay, Principal Dr. Vergi Sijoshwa Sir, Bursa Reverend Charian Thomasachin, Dr. Joji John Panike, IQAC Director, Dr. C. Ravikuma, COE, Dr. Alina Manoharan, Staff Secretary, Heads of Departments, Teachers, Parents, and My Dear Students. Warm good morning. Today is a special day for all of us, a day of mixed emotions. Pride in successfully graduating from this prestigious college and bit sorrow in leaving your alma mater. Place that has shaped your life and your friends. For all of you, the path ahead will be exciting and adventurous, where you will apply what you learned under this great college roof. As members of CMS family, let me extend our prayers and best wishes to all of you as you step out to the world outside the safe confines of this college. It's a privilege and honor to be entrusted with the responsibility of welcoming all of you to this grand event. I'm deeply honored to welcome the manager of CMS College, Right Reverend Malil Sabu Koshicharian, for gracing this event with his presence. Thirumeni, the dynamic leader, always takes a special care in the activities of our college. With great respect, I welcome you, Thirumeni, to this function. It's my privilege to extend a warm welcome to the chief guest of the day, Professor Soma Bendobadhyay, Vice Chancellor of West Bengal, University of Teachers Training and Diamond Harbor Women's University. Ma'am kindly accepted our invitation despite a busy schedule. Ma'am is an academician, researcher, excellent administrator, and above all closely related to the CMS fraternity as our governing body member. Her outstanding ability served several laurels to her credit. On behalf of the entire CMS College community and all of us here, I welcome Ma'am to CMS College and today's graduation ceremony. Principal, Dr. Vergi C. Joshua, sir, the strong pillar of our college, is a man of great vision and dedication. He takes every step upholding the legacy of our college. This event would not have been possible without his guidance and efficiency. His vision promotes sustainable development in our college. On behalf of CMS College and all of us here, with great respect, I welcome you, sir.
Let me use this opportunity to welcome the bursar of the college, Reverend Cherry and Thomas Sachin, for his great support and concern always. I welcome respected Achen to this gathering. Sri Amitabh Chakravarti, husband of our honorable chief guest, is attending the program today. CMS family gladly welcomes her to this grand function. Also taking the opportunity to welcome the respected PhD guides who are present here today with us. I would also like to welcome my eminent colleagues, Professor Sumod M. John, convener of the graduation ceremony, Dr. Joji John Panikar, IQAC Director, Dr. C. Ravi Kumar, Controller of Examinations, and Dr. Alina Manoharan to this program. Please to welcome all the teachers, office staff, and parents who actively played their roles in your life here. Last but not the least, on behalf of the entire CMS family, I extend my warm welcome to the proud graduates. You added life to our college, making a difference. May you all lead by example, work hard, and play straight. May your successes be many. A warm welcome to all of you to this grand ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Our manager and spiritual leader, Right Reverend Dr. Malil Sabu K. Cherian, Bishop of CSI Madhya Kerala Diocese, come as a wave of fresh hope, a guide and protector in the best of our interest. A leader with dynamism and a shepherd with vision. I request the Bishop to give the presidential address. Dear respected Vice Chancellor Dr. Soma Bandhubi Adhyaya, Principal of this college and the Bursar, faculty members and the graduating students and dear friends, greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I consider this as a privilege, share this proud moment with the graduating students. Please remember that this is a defining moment in your life path. You are commencing a new chapter. So, let me congratulate you all first for adding this degree in your CV, which is a great step forward. Especially, you deserve our appreciation for accomplishing this during one of the greatest challenges that humanity encountered in its recent history. But it is in the midst of unprecedented and uncertainties that all the best of humanity emerges. But crisis can be turned into an opportunity with determination and that is what you have accomplished during the pandemic in completion of your degrees. As you, go, as you go out of this portal of this historic college, let the history and legacy of the CMS College shape your values and vision of the future. Reverend Benjamin Bailey, one of the great architects of the many developments in Kerala's reform and modernity needs to be remembered along with many other great visionaries at this moment. Building a vernacular and English education was one of the primary goal of CMS missionaries. The state encouraged the missionaries to take up this task. The educational infrastructure that they developed during the second half of the 19th century and the encouragement that they offered for people transformed our society fundamentally. Women and the socially marginalized benefited greatly from this educational advancement. Three values were 
fundamental to the legacy of the CMS College. One, the humanness. It was social rights and human dignity as a fundamental right to humanness and modernity in our society. Institutions like CMS College helped our transition into a more humane and equitable society. You are part of such a great legacy. Let there be a pursuit for humanness in the midst of your struggle to live, achieve great things in life. Self-sacrifice. Without a sense of sacrificial self-giving, no society will achieve what it wants to achieve. Missionaries, teachers, and great visionaries committed themselves to their vocation by giving up many things and their comforts. They gave themselves to others. They have traveled miles to shape the lives of other peoples. Here I want to remember the commitment that the principal, teaching and non-teaching staff of this esteemed education institution has shown. As the Bishop of Mathikala Diocese, I take, I take this opportunity to express our gratitude to Dr. Soma Bhattopadhyaya, the Vice Chancellor of West Bengal University of Teachers Training, for her wholehearted support for this college for the last five years and for taking pain to come over for this program. We are transforming into a highly digital world it seems be pushing us into a world of self-sufficiency and self-centeredness. While self-confidence and self-awareness are key to your success, guard against all forms of individualism. Think about what you can give to others and the humanity through your educational accomplishments and with a sense of vocation in whatever profession you choose. Be prepared for an unscripted course of life. This is one thing that pandemic has taught us too. However, the world will challenge us to bring the best out of us even in the midst of crisis. CMS College sustains itself as one of the best education institutions in India, not just because of its past legacy, but because of the readiness to pursue the best and the noble. Focus yourself on positives of your life and achieve the best in a given situation. Try to give and provide positive energy to others. Here, let me refer a vision of mine as well as this college. Sooner than later, I hope CMS College will become a, a premier university with its rich history and signal contributions, significant contributions, CMS College deserves it. I feel so. While concluding, may I wish you the best in life and in your professions that you may choose to pursue. But don't forget to be God-centered while being, while being human-centered. Respect each other and let human dignity prevail in any and every context that you will find yourself fit in. God bless you and your parents and families 
who may have given part of your achieving this great degree whatever direction you take i guarantee that your 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 world will change as you leave this institution but your values will determine the contributions that you will make armed with the knowledge and skills that you have attained from this great institution may you achieve the blessed may god bless you all thank you tirumeni dr vergesi joshua principal of the college is a noted academician and extends his fields of interest to areas of history and culture may i invite you sir for the principal's address respected manager writer and dr malayil sabu koshicharyan bishop of csa madhyala diocese honorable chief guest professor soma bandopadhyaya bersar of cms college respected reverend charyan thomas other dignitaries dear colleagues parents and my dear students it is such a pleasure to welcome the guests and graduates in fact filling this great hall as we commemorate together the past 3 years today we are gathered here to mark the end of a great journey as all of you receive you are much deserved appreciation and uh, certificates today with great privilege and honor i extend a warm and hearty welcome to all of you to the graduation ceremony my dear students welcome back to your alma mater while we celebrate your previous academic achievements allow me to remind you of the legacy that we share as members of this great institution cms has been one of the oldest institutions that pioneered the higher modern higher education system in our country it gives me immense pleasure to mention again that we have been importing the quality education since 1817 in 1817 means long before universities were officially established in our country india we functioned as an autonomous institution then before we, we affiliated ourselves with prestigious universities in india in 1857 we affiliated to madras university which is which was one of the first universities in india and later when kerala university was established we were part of the kerala university and in 1980s when mahatma gandhi university was established we became the part of mahatma gandhi university and it continues and in 2016 the college officially became autonomous again for its academic merit in 1817 we started as an autonomous institution because at that time it was of its first kind in india so we are the pioneer of the modern higher education in india but in 2016 we shifted to autonomy because of our merit that is what i remind you it would have been impossible task to attain these remarkable heights without the leadership of great cms missionaries 
they have been the guiding spirit who nurtured the college into a rich resource of world class facilities now the printing press well equipped laboratories a rich library and facilitated classrooms in fact and of course the exquisite campus are the achieved feats which are to name a few the potential achievements and amenities make us dream of developing the college as a university in the near future that our beloved manager rightly pointed out aside from academics we value advancements in the arts cultural activities and sports with no discrimination one of the best aspects of our college is that it places equal emphasis on all areas to develop the overall talents and personalities of the students the college proudly holds and reflects its ceremonious special heritage status in its absolute sense the embrace of the heritage in its various forms dates back to the time of our first principal dr benjamin bailey and we consider benjamin bailey who paved the way for the progressive development of a quality modern education system with a diligent curriculum that had no match at that time in our country he was the life behind the modernization of malayalam script and which he printed on his own printing machine the literary legacy of the college began with the publication of some meritorious contributions like benjamin bailey's english malayalam dictionary joseph peets grammar book and reverend richard collins monolingual dictionary the innovation was further used by the college to publish a college magazine named as vidya sangraham in 1864 for the first time in india the magazine still runs its publication successfully under the same name following the finest tradition offered by a higher education institution the college also inaugurated an era of academic publication in india these contributions remain undebatable in the transformation of a rural village kotayam to a literate one and now still owning the title city of letters or in malayalam achiranagari the college's social and cultural heritage was so instilled with a revolutionary spirit that it became a huge influence in redeeming the feudal caste ridden society of 19th century of kerala students of different religious and ethnic origins were welcomed without discrimination women students were given the opportunity to enter the campus and flourish at a time when no women were entertained in the academic sector the cms college our cms college opened its gates to women students for higher education in 1913 and it became a landmark in the history of india and in fact the women empowerment endeavors the college had its own ways of breaking the stereotypes taboos and social stigmas that prevailed in society the architectural heritage of the college is another site of wonderment history rests in every building on the campus the chapel and this great hall and all classrooms can tell tales of great legacy as they stand monument monumental to the gothic tradition of architecture the construction was designed in a way to suit the climatic conditions and landscapes of kerala cms is owning an exquisite flora and fauna that can barely find a comparison anywhere the campus is now home to diverse plants and multiple animal species the campus maintains the natural heritage in its glory we are the recipients of the green champion award offered by the central government of india and many other prestigious honors the institution is well known for promoting social responsibility and sustainable development 
the CMS community offers you a legacy of great magnitude of excellence and honor, which, which is to be remembered and followed for a lifetime. As you graduate today, you are escorted to an esteemed legacy of eminent figures of both past and present, like Kher Narayanan, former President of India, ECG Sudarshan, world-renowned scientist, Justice Katie Thomas, KPS Menon, Sardar K. M. Padikar, Aravindan, John Abraham, and Kavalam Narayana Padikar, to name a few. To remember the words of the respected former President of India and our proud alumnus K. R. Narayanan, the return to your alma mater is a pilgrimage. May I repeat, the return to your alma mater is a pilgrimage. I got the privilege to listen the last speech of Ker Narayanan at the CMS College in this diocese. He said, my every visit to CMS College is a pilgrimage. Every student fostered by the institution shares such an eternal bond of association with the college. So, on your long journey to the future, I urge you to come back to your, come back to enliven and enhance your personal and professional lives. Your active participation as an alumnus is heartily welcomed. The Alumni Association of CMS contributes largely through mentorship, mentorship programs, scholarships, recruitment, and networking. Today, it is a proud alumnus of CMS College, Dr. Mohan Thomas Pagalometam, a renowned otolaryngologist and philanthropist from Doha, Qatar, sponsors the largest prize in Kerala offering for any student 1 lakh rupees each for best outgoing UG and PG students, which are to be delivered today here. Let your board with the college grow even stronger with the newly acquired status of an alumnus represent the institution as a brand to the world. What I mean by the newly attained status, what I mean is it is eternal. That is the point that I remind you again and again. The newly attained status is, that is the alumnus, is eternal. Your past status as a student was temporary. Our college has always been a landmark of educational architecture and never failed to produce a prodigy. Remember that. Here we have experienced exceptional moments and created memories that will be fondly remembered in the years ahead. Today, Right Reverend Dr. Malil Sabu Koshichari and Bishop has honored us with his gracious presence. His relentless help was always there to fulfill the necessities whenever the college are in need. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our beloved and, and thank and honor our beloved Professor Bandhobadhyaya, Soma Bandhobadhyaya, for her unwavering support, valuable insights, and ongoing involvement with the college as a member of the governing council for the last long six years. She has been a constant help for us in attaining our autonomous title. If you look at the brochure, you can see Professor Soma Bandhavadhai is now in charge of two different big universities in West Bengal. In one university, West Bengal University of Teachers Training, and he is the honor, she is the Honorable Vice Chancellor. And he, she is the Vice Chancellor in charge of Diamond Harbor Women's University. In spite of her terrific busy schedule, she spent three days here with her beloved husband. We are very much indebted to you. And to those in the audience who are here to honor these fine young adults, please stand and join me in applauding the 2022 graduates of CMS College. Thank you. Thank you, sir.
Dr. Samkuti George, head of the Department of Commerce Self-Financing Stream, is a man of vision and meticulously takes each step in achieving progress. Let me request you, sir, to introduce to us the chief guest for the day. Honorable dignitaries on and off the dais, a warm welcome and good morning to all. I feel extremely humbled and privileged to have been given the opportunity to introduce to you the great personality, our chief guest, Professor Dr. Soma Bandopathya. As all you know, CMS College has been the forefront for the past 205 years in transforming the youth through holistic education, leading to better enlightened society. And ever since its attainment of autonomy, the college has been fortunate to receive the association of many distinguished personalities from all over the world. And one among such associations is uh, Professor Dr. Soma Bandopathyay. She currently holds the office of Vice Chancellor of West Bengal University of Teachers Training, Education, Planning and Administration. She is also holding the additional charge as Vice Chancellor of Diamond Harbor Women's University in West Bengal. Her earlier levels of academic and administrative involvement include the positions of Vice Chancellor of Sanskrit College and University, Director of Indian Institute of Welfare, Social Welfare and Business Management, Kolkata, Director of Women's Studies Research Center, University of Calcutta and the Registrar of University of Calcutta. She is a well-known writer and has authored more than 35 books. She is a polyglot expert in using eight different English, different Indian languages, Bengali, Hindi, English, Urdu, Assamese, Nepali, Dorgi and Miso. She is also famous also famous as a good translator also, who has bridged languages and culture through 15 works. Dr. Soma Badnobiadia is famous academician and she has published more than 140 research papers published in national and international platforms. She is a well-known resource person handling various subjects also. She is the recipient of so many prestigious awards, right from Sahitya Academy Award 2013 and has been honored with around 12 awards till now, mainly in recognition of her contribution to language, literature and education. She has been in the delegate team of our, of our country, country and has been involved in developing cultural relationship between India and China. Dr. Soma Bandopyadhya was selected to be the university nominee of many in higher education institutions in India and it is in that capacity that she got connected with us as the UGC nominee to the governing council of CMS College. She is a well-wisher and a good friend of CMS College. She had her schooling from missionary schools and this has contributed to her love and affection to CMS College and a passion for its growth. With no exaggeration, I can state that Mom has helped and advised our college in early years of autonomy. Within and beyond the governing council meeting, she mentored us to take concrete decisions. Her opinions were open, bold, and her criticism, criticisms were constructive. She took CMS College to heart, and with that heart-probing affection for us, she has come down to grace this graduation ceremony as our chief guest. With pride and pleasure for all those who have gathered here, I welcome you once again, ma'am. I request you to grace us with this graduation address. Thank you.
Reverend Dr. Malen Sabuko Shicharian, Honorable Bishop of Mathe Kerala Diocese, Respected Principal Dr. Vargis C. Joshua, Vice Principal Dr. Renu Jacob, Bursar Reverend Charian Thomas, Controller of Examination Dr. Ravi Kumar C, IQSA Director Dr. Joji Panikkar, Dr. Samkuti Jaj, Dr. Alina Manoharan, other distinguished members of the Governing Council of this college, members of my academic fraternity, recipients of master's and PhD degrees, non-teaching staff of the college, students, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to join you all here in the historic premises of CMS College Kotayam at the invitation of the college authority who have very generously given me the distinguished honor of addressing their convocation ceremony today. I consider myself very lucky for my association with this college for the last six years. It has been a learning experience, a great learning experience for me too. To begin with, I congratulate every single student and researcher who will be receiving his or her degree today. I have great admiration for this college and its rich heritage, situated on a lush green wooded hillock. The old buildings with its cottage-like structures are exemplary combination of great architecture and engineering. And it is to be noted with pleasure that in the early years, fee was only one rupee every month per student. And the surprising fact is that in the year 1870, the number of student strength was 129, which I believe was a commendable one. Today, I would also like to quote Vishakam Tirunal, Maharaja of Travancore, who on a visit to this college in 1880 wrote, I quote, Long before the state undertook the humanizing task of educating the subjects, the Christian missionaries had raised the bacon of knowledge in this land. Unquote. Now, dear students, being a student of a missionary school myself, always I take pride to state that these institutions still achieve highest levels of value-based education. And just as Honorable Bishop Sir also mentioned, so what are the characteristics of this value-based education. They are certainty, initiative, perseverance, humility, kindness, flexibility, passion for one's nation, lifelong learning, and resilience. And CMS College has been successfully inculcating this school of thought for years within its learners. My only purpose of sharing such input is nothing but to remind you all, my dear young friends, of your rich heritage of Indian ethos, pathos, and values. Never indulge in aberration of the value system inculcated in all of you by your alma mater. During the last 205 years of its meaningful existence, the college has produced several stalwarts and thought leaders in many areas, as already mentioned, by our respected principal, sir. And the college has set examples in the field of innovation, consultancy, and collaboration to help you to make an impact in a complex and fast-changing world. Dear students, you must learn, earn, and return simultaneously at every stage of your career. The world is passing through the paradigm of innovation since the clock stuck by beginning of Y2K. We have seen many wonders of technology in the form of CDMA to Android and then to iPhone in series. And starting from 2GB bandwidth to 4GB and so on. And likewise, the education sector has also taken off from the launching pad of Industry 4.0 and Education 4.0. With my long association with this prestigious institution, 
I have seen it moving forward on the cycle from the stage of launching to take off to growth stage with multiple package portfolio containing state of the art curriculum on humanities, science and technology, commerce and management, research methodology and so on with a forward looking vision. This has resulted in cracking success on various competitive metrics like NAC with five star status, NIRF ranking, etc. In 2004, UGC accorded with the status of college with potential for excellence. So the model for providing quality education in the interest of common people of Kerala has been set by CMS College today, and I'm sure it will keep on standing out in the national as well as international standard. And here I would like to suggest that since focus on research and innovation is very high in recent education policies, college should think of involving their research scholars as mentors for nurturing young batches of PG as well as UG level in the direction of research initiatives. And this will sow the seed of innovation in the young minds from the beginning itself. Secondly, during my journey as an academic administrator, I have learned many a new lessons from academic and administrative operations. My firm conviction as the take home from this role is that education system in India has to stand on its own feet by exploring a relevant revenue model for its sustenance. And revenue model, which I mean does not refer to profiteering with denomination, but profiteering with quality of teaching learning process. CMS College has displayed its brilliance of thought by introducing suitable control system for generation of internal resource and distribution of the value added output to you students. And for this, I hail the highest decision making body of this college for carving their own path on the highway of growth of learning and knowledge. Dear young champs, you are very lucky to have been graduated from such a great abode of learning. This day of convocation marks the completion of an important phase of your life. You all have worked hard to gain insights and inculcate values to conquer, to inquire knowledge in your core subjects. On this significant day in your life, you must be experiencing an extreme joy and happiness to see your perseverance, hard work, and happiness being translated into achievement of your goals and objectives. This is also a day of fulfillment for your parents who might have sacrificed their personal happiness and pleasure to make sure that you get the best of education that leads to a better future. This day therefore belongs to them too in equal measure. And I would also like to compliment the governing council led by the dynamic leader, Honorable Bishop, a very good academic administrator, principal sir, and his wonderful team, faculty members, and non-teaching staff as well, who have worked hard in their mission and vision to provide quality education and capacity building among the youth of Kotaim and the adjoining districts. My dear young friends, now that you will be pre presented your degrees after a little while, you will be going to the actual field of work on your own, without having your mentor and teachers around. I would therefore like to remind you the words of a great leader of our nation, a true hero for the youngsters, our former president, scientist, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, which I believe will be able to serve you as guiding light at this juncture. He said that the students should be armed with courage. Courage 
to think different. Courage to invent. Courage to discover the impossible. Courage to share the knowledge. Courage to remove others' pain. Courage to reach the unreached. And courage to combat the problems and move on. So my dear future champs, these are the unique qualities that you have inside you. Only you have to nurture them. Time has now come to rejuvenate and recapture the past glory of this country through your character, innovation, and services to the society. I call upon each one of you to take pledge to make the full use of your knowledge for the benefit of society and humanity at large. And I firmly believe that your future success will not only be measured by the outstanding education and training that you have received here in CMS College, but also by the values with which you will be defined your work and your adherence to the principles that the founding fathers of this great institution conceived. I once again congratulate you all on this Convocation Day and wish you all the very best in your future career and life. At the same time, I wish CMS College and its stakeholders all the glory and success in their future endeavors. I would like to end with the most inspiring quote by St. Augustine. A quote, pray as though everything depended on God. Pray as though everything depended on God. Work as though everything depended on you. Amen. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am, for that enlightening address and for encouraging our students, our graduates, to keep learning at every stage of their lives. This is indeed a great achievement for the college as we distribute the special awards for this year. I invite Ms. Betty Elsa Jacob, Assistant Professor from the Department of English, to present to us the special awards for this year. And I also request Dr. Soma Bandiobadai, our Chief Guest for the day, to come forward and give the awards. Success without recognition is like an unseasoned dish. Success without recognition is like an unseasoned dish. We are extremely delighted to appreciate the members of CMS family who have brought laurels to the college. The most prestigious award and the highlight of this year's graduation ceremony is the Dr. Thomas Award for the best outgoing PG and undergraduate student. The first of its kind in colleges, the specialty of this award is the cash prize amounting to rupees one lakh. It was Dr. Thomas who took the initiative to institute the best outgoing postgraduate student award and the best outgoing post undergraduate student award for those who have excelled not only in just academics and research, but also in cultural activities, sports, and other social activities. Dr. Mohan Thomas Pagalomatam is an alumnus of CMS College. He is a renowned otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon, and philanthropist based in Doha, Qatar. He is the chairman of a private family-owned charitable foundation named Serve People Foundation, which supports families in need with regard to health and education. As a philanthropist, he was instrumental in the collection of various national disaster management funds like the Gujarat Earthquake Relief Fund and the Tsunami Relief Fund. During the pandemic, Dr. Thomas led a COVID-19 task force under the Indian Embassy for Medical Assistance and Counseling. Dr. Mohan Thomas Pagalomatam joins us now through virtual medium to express his feelings. Good day to everyone. Today is indeed a happy day for all of us. 
lot of our children are graduating today and receiving their degree after many years of hard work. Congratulations to everyone. For me, it's a very special pride to be with you today, being an old alumni of CMS College. CMS College, the oldest college in India, has great heritage and culture behind them. Many of us are graduates from the, this college and has successfully done a lot of things in life because of the training and the support we have got from our old college. Today it is your turn. I am sure all of you will make it great in your life. To support all of us, our family foundation, the Serve People Foundation has instituted two merit scholarship awards for two best outgoing students in postgraduate and graduate level. We hope this will encourage our children to take their life seriously, study hard and achieve like many of your old alumni have done in their life. Wish you all the best and be assured that we alumni will be there behind all of you for whatever you need in your life. We are just one call away. Thank you. All of you for whatever you do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the management and faculty of CMS College Cotium, I am extremely delighted to announce the awards. But before that, may I request the dignitaries to come forward to give away their awards. On behalf of the management and faculty of CMS College Cotium, I announce the recipient of the first ever Dr. Thomas Award for the best outgoing postgraduate student, Ms. Parvati Santosh Kumar from the Department of Chemistry. <laughs> Parvati has completed MSc Chemistry in the year 2022. She has presented her MSc research work at the Swiss Chemical Society meeting held at the University of Zurich, Switzerland and has received the Best Research Presentation Award from the Swiss Chemical Society. She has also presented her work in the 12th Triennial Congress of the World Association of Theoretical and Computational Chemists held on July 3rd to 8, 2022 in Canada and has received the Certificate of Appreciation for the Best Research Presentation. May I welcome Ms. Parvati Santosh Kumar to receive the esteemed award. I'm also delighted to announce the first Dr. Thomas Award for the best outgoing undergraduate student, Mr. Rommel, Thomas, Rommel Jose of the Department of Mathematics. <laughs> Rommel Jose has completed his BSc Mathematics in the year 2022. He is currently an MBA student at IIT Madras. He is the recipient of Inspire Scholarship awarded by Science and Technology India. He has completed the internship at Heiter Kreis Private Limited. He has published a research paper on LST-based COVID mutation detection and has qualified CAT examination with a 98 percentile. He has been offered admission from IIT Madras, IIM Kashipur, IIM Amritsar, IIM Rohit and IIM Sir Moore and joined IIT Madras and he's currently a student there. In his absence, I welcome Mr. Rommel's parents, Mr. Jose Devasya and Mrs. Jesse Jose to receive the prestigious Dr. Thomas Award for the best outgoing undergraduate student.
I would like to read out the names of uh, the students who are eligible for the rest of the awards. The awards for the students who got admitted in the top 500 universities in the world after their completion of degree from CMS College. We have Dr. Mr. Abhijit Kumar, who has joined for PhD in Case Western Reserve University, USA. If the representatives are present here, they can come forward and receive the award. Anandu Krishnan, who has joined. I invite Mr. Abhijit Kumar's mother to receive the award. Mr. Abhijit Kumar has received his admission for PhD in Case Western Reserve University, USA. Anandu Krishnan, Mr. Anandu Krishnan, who has received, who has joined for PhD in Michigan Technological University, USA. I request his parents in his absence to receive the award. Ms. Anjali Radhakrishnan, who has joined for PhD in University of Kansas, USA. I request Anjali's mother to receive the award in her absence. Ms. Anjali Radhakrishnan has joined for PhD in University of Kansas, USA. Ms. Ashwati Jayachandran, who has joined for PhD in Kent University, USA. Ms. Ashwati Jayachandran, I request her father to come forward and receive the award. Ms. Ashwati Jayachandran, who was a student of the Department of Chemistry, and she has joined for PhD in Kent State University, USA. Ms. Carolyn Anna Joy, who has joined for PhD in Market University, USA. I request her parents to come forward and receive the award. Carolyn Anna Joy, who has joined for PhD in Market University, USA. Ms. Lakshmi Anil of the Department of Chemistry, who has joined for PhD in INRS National Institute of Scientific Research in Canada. A loud round of applause for Ms. Lakshmi Anil. <laughs> Ms. Shraddha Maria Thomas who has joined for PhD in University of Miami, USA. Shraddha Maria Thomas. Ms. Ashai Tom Aji, who has joined for MSc Chemistry in Freie University Berlin, Germany. Ms. Adra Haridas of, MSc, of BSc Chemistry, who has joined for MSc in Freiburg Schiller University, Jena, Germany. Jubain Salim of, M of BSc Chemistry, who has joined for MSc in Friedrich Schiller University, Jena, Germany. I invite Srilaja PV of the Department of Physics, who has joined for PD PDF in the University of Toronto, Canada. Srilaja PV. 
Navami Nayak of the Department of Physics, who has joined for PhD in University of Houston, USA. Naomi Naik. I request her mother to come forward and receive the award. We have a few special awards, special appreciation awards for those who have shown excellence in research. Ms. C. Rajalakshmi has received the prestigious Research Excellence Award from Indian Chemical Society for her research work in computational chemistry in 58th Annual Convention of Chemists 2021. Rajalakshmi is a research scholar in the Department of Chemistry. I request her to receive the award from the chief guest. Ms. Parvati Santosh Kumar again receives a special appreciation award for the best research presentation she did at the Swiss Chemical Society. She had received an award which consists of a travel grant of Rs. 70,000 to participate in any international conference. She has also received a cash prize of Rs. 25,000 and an invitation to publish the award-winning research in the journal published by Swiss Chemical Society. Our faculty members who have taken the pain to bring out and guide the researchers deserve special recognition. Before I call out the names, we cannot ignore the contributions of our own dear principal, Dr. Vargasi Joshua, who is a renowned academician. In spite of his busy administrative schedule, he has found time to engage in research activities and has produced three PhDs by guiding Dr. Ambali P. Matthew, Dr. Dhanya Babu, Dr. Sinu Lal T.S. He has excelled in academic and administrative responsibilities. We congratulate you, sir, for your excellent contributions. May I call out the names of the guides who, who would be receiving their awards of appreciation right now? Dr. Ravi Kumar C. of the Department of Physics. Dr. Asha Matthew, Department of Sociology, a reti retired faculty member. Dr. Jacob Thomas of the Department of Commerce. Dr. Tommy Matthew from the Department of Commerce and Dr. B. A. Philip from the Department of Malayalam, Basilius College, Kottayam. It is time to appreciate our faculty members who have been awarded PhD during this tenure. I request the following teachers to come forward and receive their special appreciation award. Dr. Ambali P. Matthew from the Department of Mathematics. Dr. Vijo Thomas Kurian from the Department of Zoology.
Dr. Anne Abraham from the Department of Commerce. Dr. Deethu Tessa Willing T Teresa Willington from the Department of Physics. Dr. Shantani Thomas from the Department of Malayalam. It is time for, to give away the award for innovations. The innovations made by our own staff members is a sign that CMS is moving to a self-reliant mode. I am happy to announce the awards of innovation I request Mr. Midun Mohan to come forward and receive the award for innovation. Mr. Midun R. Mohan is the EM, EMMRC Administrator of CMS College Cotium. He created and implemented innovative practices to improve the institution's ability to serve students and the community. His innovation include light board and a teleprompter. The light board is a glass chalk board pumped full of light. And we have more than 300 light board lectures, lecture videos on various subjects in the CMS College YouTube channel. He has also created the teleprompter, uh, which bolstered the CMS news channel, which was launched in November 2020. I request Mr. Binu Johnson to come forward to receive the next award. Mr. Binu Johnson is a lab assistant at the Department of Physics, CMS College Cotium. He has effectuated various innovative ideas in the college campus which are cost effective and can be easily replicated like the portable automatic no touch hand sanitizer, portable automatic soap dispenser, automatic room light for saving energy and automatic sensor faucet. Thank you dignitaries. Thank you so much. Thank you. CMS College is always a place of research and known for promoting research. It's indeed a great joy to present before us the PhD candidates. I invite Dr. Joji John Panika to present the PhD candidates. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2022 who have pursued excellence in the field of research and have been certified after Viva Vose examination to be duly qualified to receive the doctoral degree of the Mahatma Gandhi University. Dr. Saleh N., PhD in Commerce, Dr. Saleh. PhD in Commerce under the guideship of Dr. Jacob Thomas. Dr. Benoit Vincent, PhD in Commerce under the guidance of Dr. Jacob Thomas. Dr. Gina Shaji, PhD in English, under the guideship of Dr. Pramila Devi. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The moment we awaited has drawn nigh. The time to award the certificates to our graduates. I request the chief guest, Dr. Soma Bhantyopadhyay, 
and the other dignitaries to give away the certificates to our graduates. I request Ms. Reshmi Cherian to present the candidates of the Department of BVOC. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019-22 batch in Bachelor of Vocation in Information Technology who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. First rank, Aksa and Saji. Second rank, Albin Joe Alex. Third rank, Sandra Thomas. Other candidates, Abhiraj K, Alina Thomas, Anakha Vishwanath, Atul Ravindran, Ayush K.S. Bibinamol Jacob Dindo James Jacob Alvin Joy Krishna Sampreet K.S. Sagar G.V. Sana Elsa Jimon Thomas Matthew and Tinju George. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019-22 batch in Bachelor of Vocation in Travel, Tourism and Logistics Management who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. Second rank, Dania and Saji. Other candidates, Aromal Sudeep, Ashwadi Biju, Chippy George, Fatima Hannat, Jayalakshmi B, J.B. Abraham Jacob, Mohammad Aslam, Mohammad Shahin, Reshma S. Kumar, Rijomon Titus, Rohit S. Nair, and V. Sandra. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I request Ms. Delcy MJ to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Computer Science. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019-2022 batch in Bachelor of Computer Application who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. Second rank goes to Jibi Joseph. Third rank, Vani C. Nair.
The other candidates, Alia M. Shanas, Aishwarya Roy, Ajay S. Krishna, Akshay Kumar Vivi, Alina and Shaji, Anjana Arjun, Anu P. Mani, Ashish Kumar Vivi, Badra Gopan, Danan Jain H, Prahalad N, Rehan Sandosh, Sandra K. Chandran. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I request Mr. Arun Vergis Thomas, head of the Department of English Self-Financing Stream, to come forward and present the candidates. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019-2022 batch in Bachelor of Arts in BA English Literature, Communication and Journalism, Model 3, Triple Main, who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. First rank, Etna Joseph. Other candidates of the batch are Ardra A, Aishwarya Sajish, Ashika Susan Matthew, Padra Sandeep, Durga Surendran, Fairuz Fatima, Fatima Hanifa S, Gobiga Anil, Gobiga K, Lakshmi R. Nair, Namita Elizabeth Kurula, Navya Suresh, Nita Ann Dewey, Sneha Sunny Joseph, and Varsha Valerian. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I request Ms. Nimi Regu to come forward and present the candidates of Family and Community Science. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019-2022 batch in Bachelor of Science in Family and Community Science who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. First rank, Devika Pratap Kumar, UG. Second rank, Catherine John.
third rank ardra ms the other awardees are anushri sri kumar arya reji Huda sign up Jeshma Sandosh Navanita S Priya P Goshi Sangeeta TS Siana TB Tangam Punnus Varsha V Thank you Thank you ma'am I request Ms Kavita Vijayan to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Family and Community Science MSc Dietetics and Sports Service Management Respected principal I present to you the candidates of 2020-22 batch in the Masters of Science in Home Science branch 10E MSc Dietetics and Food Service Management who have been certified by after examination to be duly duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University first rank niyamol joseph second rank adira v nayar and the other candidates aishwarya ov Aishwarya S Kumar Amalu Joshi Amira UM Amina Hakim Amrita Shabu Densia K Matthew Harita L Juwain P Jos Malavika D Swadi S and Jisha Justin Thank you Thank you ma'am I request Dr Jinu John to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Biotechnology respected principal i present to you the candidates of msc biotechnology 20 20 22 batch and bsc botany biotechnology 2019 22 batch who have been certified by after the ex examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of mahatma gandhi university kottayam msc biotechnology 20 22 batch first rank goes to brinda vinod second rank chaitanya chandran third rank josna k other candidates are abhrami baiju abel p shaji anjal saji Ashudi AR Jeffy Johnson Kartika Sale Kartika AO Veena Nayaras the bsc botany biotechnology 2019 22 batch first rank goes to amrita roy
सेकेंड रंग अमिता सूसन बिलो अखिला यस अनखा ओमन कुटन अनंद कृष्णन अनुपमा रघुवरन आशना पणिकर अश्विन कृष्ण अतुल अजय एबिन जॉन गोपिका वेणुगोपाल हरिकृष्णन एम हरिदा बालकृष्णन मरिया दर्शन प्रिंस नंदना एन एस and sri lakshmiyam thank you thank you i request mr tinu aib jacob head of the department of Econ economics to come forward and present the candidates respected principal i present to you the candidates of 2020 22 batch in master of arts in economics who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university first rank aishwarya prasad t second rank sneha jojo third rank divya krishna other candidates are afina nm jyoti lakshmi b libya kj veena vijayan respected principal i present to you the candidates of 2019 22 batch in bachelor of arts in economics who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university first rank steffi and philip second rank akshaya ck third rank twinkle maria jason other candidates are amala thomas anugraha anil arunima ar gloria and thomas miduna manoj Nandana Unnitan CG John Sri Lakshmi KP Thank you Thank you I request Ms Radhika ji to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of History respected principal i present you the candidates of master of arts in history 2020 22 batch and bachelor of arts in history 2019 22 batch who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university pg 2020 22 batch first rank anjali kunyamon second rank dishma dilish kumar
third rank Nandana Lal. Other candidates are Anwar Sanu MK, Chinnumol Rajesh, JG K George, Jamili Manoj, Lexan T. Matthew, Mekha Madhu, Sneha Das, Saumya VB, Sri Lakshmi Sunil Kumar, Vishnu MS. UG 2019-22 batch First rank Arya Jain Second rank H. Varsha Third rank Aditya Shaji Other candidates are Abhina Vijayan, Abhirami S. Prasad, Akshara Pradeep, Albin Antony. Adra Paulos, Arpana Sunil, Arya Vijayan, Best in John Matthew, Bhagya Surendran, Francis Tom. Harsha Ajayan, Jasmine Binoy, Josna Agustin, Kartik Raju, Lakshmi Anil, Manjima E.R. Nancy Babu Rohan John Abraham Rona K.R. Ruben Roy Sandra John, Safin Shah, Sri Lakshmi, yes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I invite Dr. Samkuti George to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Commerce Self Financing Stream. Prospector Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2019 22 batch of Bachelor of Commerce who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of Mahatma Gandhi University. Aishriya Ashogan, Agash Biju Matthew, Alina A. Kurian, Alan George, Anais Habiba, Anatan Vargis, Arya Anil Kumar, Adira Shaji, Blasan Anil Mailakata, Ethel Jacob, 
ഗംഗാ പ്രദീപ് ഗോപിക അജയകുമാർ ഗൗരിപ്രിയ ഹരിഗൗരി നന്ദ ഹാത്തിം ബിൻ ഹാരിസ് ഖന എൽസ കുര്യൻ ജോംസ് അഗസ്റ്റിൻ മെലിൻഡ ആൻഡ് കുറിയാക്കോസ് മീഖ എൽസ മാത്യു നവോമി എലിസബ് ജോൺ പ്രിയംവദ മോഹൻ റിയ അന്ന സ്റ്റീഫൻ റോഷൻ ജോർജ് ഷാന ഫാത്തിമ ഷാരോൺ ആൻഡ് മേരി ജോഷി ഷിനി മറിയം സജി ടോം ബാബു വിമൽ ജോർജി തോവേളിൽ അച്ചു ജോൺ അദ്വൈദ് എ നായർ ആൽബിൻ തോമസ് അലീന ബോസ് അമൃത പി എസ് ആൻറ്റോമി ബാനുകൃഷ്ണൻ ദേവിക വി നായർ ഗൗതം വിഷ്ണു എ ജി ഹാനോ ഷിബു തോമസ് ജോൺ വിവിയൻ രഞ്ജിത്ത് ജൂലിയ ആൻഡ് ജേക്കബ് നമിത രാജീവ് നിഷിൻ പോൾ ജോസ് പാർവതി എം പിള്ളൈ പൂർണിമ രാജേഷ് റിയ എൽസ ബിജു റോണിക അമ്പലത്തുങ്കൽ ഷാരോൺ വർഗീസ് ശ്രേയ എസ് കാരയ്ക്കൽ ഗൗതം കൃഷ്ണ ടൈസൺ പി തോമസ് ആൻഡ് ഉണ്ണികൃഷ്ണൻ ബി എസ് thank you thank you sir i request dr ann abraham to come forward and present the candidates of the department of commerce respected principal i present to you the candidates of master of commerce 2020 2022 and bachelor of commerce 2019 2022 batch who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university in the pg 2020 22 batch first rank meren and philip second rank amala joseph third rank anjana lakshmi s other candidates are alia salim chippy wilson ml george jacob grish manjali ls 
മറായ വെള്ളപ്പള്ളി സനൽ മാത്യു പോൾ സാന്ദ്ര നിമി ജേക്കബ് ഇൻ ദ യു ജി ട്വന്റി നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വന്റി ടു ബാച്ച് ഫസ്റ്റ് റാങ്ക് അർച്ചന കെ എം സെക്കൻഡ് റാങ്ക് ഹരിത കെ എസ് അതർ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ആർ അബ്ദുൾ മനാഫ് പി ഐ ഐശ്വര്യ അനിൽ അനുമോൾ വി എ അപർണ എസ് അർച്ചന മോഹനൻ അരുണിമ നായർ അശ്വൻ കെ സാം ചിൻസി ലൂഡി ഡെക്സീന ടോമി ഫെബി സാറ ബിനു ഫെറ്റി എൽസ തോമസ് ജയശങ്കർ എസ് ജെഫിൻ ജോസ് ജ്യോതിസ് ജേക്കബ് കെവിൻ ജോർജ് ബെഞ്ചമിൻ കൃപ സൂസൻ സാബു കൃഷ്ണേന്ദു ബാനർജി മീമ എൽസ സാം മീര സുരേഷ് മിത്യ സാറ സണ്ണി നെയ്തൻ എ മറ്റത്തൽ പ്രിയ സാബു റോസ് റോബർട്ട് സാന്ദ്ര കെ അനിൽ ഷിൽന എസ് ഷിൻ മേരി പോൾ ശ്വേത സാറ ഈപ്പൻ ജിജു തമ്പിക്കുട്ടി പൗലോസ് ഉണ്ണിമായ എം വൈഷ്ണവി എം താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഐ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ നിഷ പി അരവിന്ദ് to come forward and present the candidates of the department of zoology respected principal i present to you the candidates of master of science in zoology 2020 22 batch and bachelor of science in zoology 2019 22 who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of mahatma gandhi university msc zoology 2020 22 first rank goes to sona mol babu second rank goes to adira rajiv third rank namita jain answer other candidates are amala anna francis anita binu jerin md sun Anita 
जरिन शरत बी एस सी इन जोलॉजी थर्ड रैंक गोज टू अलीना नासन अदर कैंडिडेट्स आर अक्सा सूसन मैथ्यू अलना के जोशी अंजलि प्रसाद एंटो जॉर्ज देव कृष्णा इमानुअल सैम जॉन सी पीजे लक्ष्मी नायर नीला एम एंड ऋतिक बाबू थैंक यू थैंक यू आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर रोजी मोहन पी थॉमस टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड प्रेजेंट द कैंडिडेट्स द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी respected principal i present to you the candidates of msc botany 22 batch who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university pg 22 batch anjana es first rank denna susan jacob second rank sigil james third rank other candidates anup m febakutti vargis malavika madhukumar and shema thomas this candidates of ug 22 batch sindura sabu first rank vismaya elizabeth binu third rank other candidates bijimol surendran Deviga SS Hasmina ji Hasakiel Pragirtana TP Renimol PR Resa Dia Titus Sona Akama Vargis Thank you. Thank you. I request Mr. Sumo Dem John to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Chemistry. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2020-22 batch in Master of Science in Chemistry and 2019-22 batch in Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. who have been qualified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of mahatma gandhi university msc chemistry 2022 passout batch first rank sri lakshmi k varia second rank brinda k brinda m nayar third rank gayatri k the other candidates and mary benny idi elizabeth matthews mega sajeev parvati santosh kumar sneha susan wilson
MSc Analytic Chemistry, 2022 Password Badge, first rank Vinita. Second rank Shilpa Viraju. Third rank Ashna Devasi. The other candidates Arya Mol Chandra Babu. Job M. Skarya, Meera Suresh M, Sneha Raj, Susan Saji, MSc Applied Chemistry 2022 Password Badge, Second Rank Minnu Revi. Third rank, Arya KB. The other candidate, Jinja Mold John. BSc Chemistry, 2022 Password Badge. First rank, Krishnapriya R. Second rank, Mekhana Ajit. Third rank, Kajal S. The other candidates, Abhirami Gobal, Aditya PM, Amrita S. Gopagumar, Anakha Tambi, Anaina SL, Anandu Ajish, Anandu Anil, Anina Babu, Anjana R, Anu Elsa Raji, Ashundra Stian, Devika T, Dia Alex, Feba Mariam Robinson, Kido Shivan, Jobita Jacob, Kajal S. Kesia K. Davis, Leshmi S, Nandini J, Rajima K. Matthews, Rintu Lalu, and Sri Leshmi Sadish. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I request Mr. Sam Rajan to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Physics. Principal, I present to you the candidates of 2020-22 Batch in Master of Science in Physics and Applied Physics and 2019-22 Batch in Bachelor in Physics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of Mahatma Gandhi University. MSc Physics, uh, 2022, Password Batch. First rank, Adra S. Third rank, Sona Sunni. Other candidates are Anmol D. Kandathil, Ashwadi Ammal M. Fabian Alex. J.G. Susan Sunni, Joel Skaria, Tom Kapan. MSc Applied Physics, 2022, uh, 
పాస్వర్డ్ బ్యాచ్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ ఆవని ప్రకాష్ ప్రేమ్ ప్రకాష్ సెకండ్ ర్యాంక్ క్రిస్టి ఫిలిప్ అదర్ క్యాండిడేట్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్బిన్ జేమ్స్ జాన్ ఆంపిల్ అగస్టిన్ అనన్య కృష్ణ ఎస్ హరిదా డి పార్వతి వి బిఎస్సి టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ పాస్వర్డ్ బ్యాచ్ మేఘ్నా ఎంఆర్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ అనన్య ప్రకాష్ సెకండ్ ర్యాంక్ సంద్ర సెబి థర్డ్ ర్యాంక్ అదర్ క్యాండిడేట్స్ ఆర్ అనంతకృష్ణన్ ఎస్ అశ్వతి బాస్ భద్రాజీ ఎలిజబెత్ సంతోష్ కేఆర్ కృష్ణప్రియ లక్ష్మీ సురేష్ నందన బిజు నీరజ ఆర్ నాయర్ నిమిష సూసన్ జేకబ్ నిశాంత్ బి పూజా రాజ్ ఎస్ అజ్మల్ సబిన్ కే బిను సిద్ధార్థ ఎస్ నాయర్ శ్రీలక్ష్మి ఎంజే and Tony Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. I request Dr. Ambli P. Matthew to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of Mathematics. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of Master of Science in Mathematics 2020-22 batch and Bachelor of Science in Mathematics 2019-22 batch who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. MSc Mathematics 22 pass out batch, first rank Adira Mohanan. Second rank Abhirami Vijay Kumar. Third rank Nayana Varma P. other candidates anju mohanan arya manu darshana r grishma ipen sharath as nayar Dins T. Thamni B.Sc. Mathematics uh, 2022 pass out batch First rank Febi Maria Thomas Other candidates are Ajila G. Nair Alina Gray Saip Alina Maria Jos Amala Chomi Jeffy Jobi Joji Thomas Kirtana V In the absence of Joji Thomas, uh, his mother will receive the certificate. Then, Laya Matthew, Meenakshi Suresh, Muhammad Suhail, 
സ്നേഹ ബോബൻ സ്നേഹ നായർ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഐ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ എം എം ജോൺസൺ ടു കം ഫോർവേഡ് ആൻഡ് പ്രസന്റ് ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് സോഷ്യോളജി റെസ്പെക്റ്റഡ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ ഐ പ്രസന്റ് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് 2020 2022 batch in master of arts in sociology who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university bibimor john first rank mega and philip second rank Ashna Shaju, third, third rank. Other candidates? Abhay Sirke John. അക്ഷയായം അമൽ രവീന്ദ്രൻ അരവിന്ദ് ലാൽ കെ എൽ മഹേഷ് കൃഷ്ണ റിയ റെന്നി റോഷൻ കുര്യാക്കോസ് കോശി യമുന പി എസ് താങ്ക് യു ഐ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ ഡേ സി ഏബ്രഹാം ടു കം ഫോർവേഡ് ആൻഡ് പ്രസന്റ് ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് മലയാളം respected principal i present you the candidates of 2020 2022 batch in master of arts and 2019 2022 batch in bachelor of arts in malayalam who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the mahatma gandhi university pg 2020 2022 first rank animal aji second rank ashamol k a Third rank, Kirti Bijuli. Other candidates are Akhila M. George, Dichu D.K. Akhila, Akhila. Diya M. A. Kharida Das. Sharat Govan, Swadhi Mol Titi, UG 2022, Anirudh B, Anne Maria Matthew, Anu Shivalashmi, DRV James Harida H Jalna Jolly Kirti V Neeraja P. Rajan, Selin Tangachan. Thank you. Thank you. 
I request Professor Jacob Eppen Kunnath to come forward and present the candidates of the Department of English. A respected principal, I present to you the candidates of uh, the 2020-22 batch in Masters of Arts in English who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. Rank holders, first rank, Parvati Ajit. Third rank, Minu and Thomas. Fellow graduates, Advait PR, Anu Tankam Reji, Adira Krishnan, Karen Kiran, Meera Krishna, Shania Susan Shaiju. Respected Principal, I present to you the candidates of the 2019-22 batch in Bachelors of Arts in English Language and Literature who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the Mahatma Gandhi University. Rank holders, Vanessa Luke, first rank. <laughs> Jocelyn Susan Johnson, third rank. Fellow graduates, Ajay P.A., Aldous Christine Jose, Amira A., Anand Pyaralal, Angela S. Putur, Anjana Prakash, Abarna S, Ashida Anil, Christine J. Philip, Deviga J. Nair, Donna Rose Thomas, G. Shyam Ganapati, Gloria Matthew, Gauda Jain, Harsha Elsa Ebi, Irene Elsa G. Matthews, Joel Lassa, Juhi and Mary George, Kripa Mary Shaji, Saji, Lois Rose, Mekha S. Anthony, Prince T. Samuel, Robin Johnson, <coughs> Safiya P.S., <coughs> Safon Sanu Matthew, Sijin M. George, Srijit P. Kumar, Swati Lakshmi Prasad. Thank you, sir. We have a few more special awards. Uh, awards for the students who got admission to the top 500 universities in the world. I request their parents to come forward and receive the awards. Shraddha Maria Thomas, Shraddha Maria Thomas, I request her father to come forward to receive the award, who got admission for PhD in the University of Miami, USA.
Akshay Tom Aji, who got admitted for MSc Chemistry in Freie University Berlin, Germany. Adra Haridas, who got admission for MSc Chemistry in Friedrich Schiller University, Jena, Germany. Jubain Salim's mother receives the award for him, who got admission for MSc Chemistry in Friedrich Schiller University, Germany. Thank you so much. Thank you, dignitaries. I invite Dr. Ravi Kumar C, the controller of examinations, to affirm the motto, vision, and mission of the college and thereafter read out the pledge for the graduates. Motto of our college, thy word is truth, vision, the CMS College shall be a center of excellence for importing value-based liberal education aimed at promoting inclusive and holistic growth of the learner with the trust on real-time needs. Mission of our college. The college strives to achieve excellence by importing quality education through teaching, learning, research and extension activities, inculcative values of integrity, justice and compassion in the young minds to keep alive the missionary seal of the founders, execute academic and administrative policies in a flexible environment, ensure optimum utilization of resources for the benefit of the society, create awareness on human rights, cultural and spiritual heritage, scientific temper and ecology, empower students as the agents of transformation and equip them to face local and global challenges. I request the students to maintain silence and kindly stand and repeat the pledge after sir by stretching your right hand forward. I request the graduates to kindly stand and repeat the pledge after sir by stretching your right hand forward. Right. We, the students of CMS College, solemnly pledge to of gold in thought, word and deed, the dignity and integrity of the human spirit, be fled to diligently execute our duties to ourselves, our family, and our society. Amidst adversities, we shall remain strong. Amidst darkness, we shall be torch bearers. We pledge not to be perturbed by the narrow walls of unscreen, but pursue the ever widening horizons to reject falsehood and embers truth to abandon condemned and grow in humility let it be our promise to our alma mater thank you thank you students kindly remain seated no duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. May I now invite Dr. Alina Manoharan, the Staff Secretary of the College, to propose the vote of thanks.
respected president of this meeting, Right Reverend Dr. Malil Sabu Koshi Chiryan, Bishop of Madhya Kerala Diocese and Manager of the College, Chief Guest of the Day, Honorable Vice Chancellor of West Bengal University of Teachers Training and Diamond Harbor Women's University, Professor Dr. Soma Bandopadhyay, Principal of CMS College, Dr. Vergis C. Joshua, Distinguished Persons on the Days, Respected Colleagues, non-teaching staff, dear students, parents, and everyone who is present here. I wish you a warm good afternoon. All's well that ends well, so says the Bard. And today, when I stand here to express words of gratitude, I believe nothing can be more true. As we mark a finale to the graduation ceremony of three batches of students, it is a reminder that many hands have joined to make the two-day program a success. I deem it an honor to be able to propose the vote of thanks. I thank our Bishop and Manager, Right Reverend Dr. Malel Sabu Koshichirian for presiding over today's meeting and for gracing this occasion with his presence. Tirumeni's vision has always been our inspiration and support. Thank you, Tirumeni, for being with us today. The chief guest for the day, Dr. Soma Bandopadhyay, very generously kept aside her valuable time and consented to be with us for the graduation ceremony the past two days. We at CMS College are grateful for your esteemed presence, ma'am, and for delivering an inspiring convocation address. Thank you. I also would like to thank Mr. Amitav Chakrabarti, who accompanied Ms. Dr. Soma for accepting our hospitality and for being with us today. Thank you, sir. I take this opportunity to thank our principal, Dr. Virgil C. Joshua, for his leadership and for being our constant source of strength and support in all endeavors. Thank you, sir. I thank our Vice Principal, Dr. Reno Jacob, who has efficiently managed all affairs of the graduation ceremony with utmost grace. Thank you, dear ma'am. I extend a sincere thanks to Dr. Ravi Kumar C., the controller of examination, who efficiently engages in the task of conducting examinations throughout the year with integrity and sincerity. Thank you, sir, for being with us. A word of thanks to the IQAC Director of the College, Dr. Joji John Panikir, for his dedicated efforts in leading the College to heights. Thank you, sir. I thank our bursar, Reverend Cherry and Thomas, for his prayerful presence with us today. Thank you, Achin. A special word of thanks to Mr. Sumod M. John, the convener of this convocation ceremony, his dedicated effort at leading the various committees of this program has been commendable and requires sincere appreciation. Thank you, sir. Let me thank Dr. Samkuti George, the admission officer of the college, for being with us today. Thank you, sir. A special note of thanks to Dr. Mohan Thomas Pagalomatam for instituting the Dr. Thomas Award for the best UG and PG outgoing students. I thank Sir in his absence. Teachers and non-teaching staff of this college who are part of the various committees have spent sleepless nights to ensure that all procedures relating to the graduation ceremony were efficiently managed. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your dedicated efforts. A special word of thanks to all the PhD supervisors who, who are with us today. Thank you for coming. Let me thank all the parents and well-wishers who are with us today. I sincerely extend our gratitude for your presence. I thank all the student volunteers and those who have rendered technical support to make this program successful. Last but not the least, the graduates of CMS College, our dear students. This graduation ceremony has added yet another golden feather to your cap. Congratulations. 
with each step you take to the next milestone of your life, be reminded of the words by Franklin D. Roosevelt. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Let us move forward with strong and active faith. Thank you. All the best and God bless. We've come to the end of the graduation ceremony 2022. Let us conclude this auspicious ceremony with our national anthem. Shall we all rise for the national anthem? I request the audience to kindly remain standing until the dignitaries leave the hall. Shubhanamejahe, Tavashubha Ashishamage, Gahe Tabajayatada, Janagana Mangaladaya Gajayahe, Bharata Bhagya Vidada.